Hello everyone. On July 29, OpenAI released a study mode for ChatGPT, which in my opinion is a game changer for college students. So what is this study mode for? It's for college students that they need help with their lecture notes and their assignments. And the difference between the study mode and the normal note in ChatGPT is that the study mode will walk you through problems step by step instead of just getting an answer. And this is extremely important because when you want to learn, you should not just have this whole solution in front of you. It's extremely important to be able to solve the problem step by step and to make sure that you understand the intermediate steps to get to the final solution. And the great news is that this study mode is available for free, plus pro and all other users uh, in ChatGPT. So what are the key features of a study mode? The first one is interactive prompts, meaning that uh, it combines questionings, hints, self-reflection prompts to make sure that you understand the topic and also promote active learning. This is very important because it's opposite of passive learning where you just given some information and you have to digest this on your own. Instead, active learning promotes engagement from your side and you can interact with uh, ChatGPT to make sure that you understand intermediate steps. The second feature is a scaffolded responses. And this is my favorite topic. A scaffolding in education typically refers to a strategy where you gradually increase the complexity of the materials that they are presented. And this means that we can have an easy to follow sections. And this study mode is specifically designed with this scaffolding uh, in mind. And also it provides personalized support. So this is like a personalized uh, assistant uh, or like a private tutor that you may want to hire. So it's very much designed to help you. And also my other favorite feature is that you get knowledge checks. So this means that when you ask a question, although ChatGPT will give you the answer, but also it can ask you now different questions or in some sense to quiz you and see whether you know you really understand the topic or not and try to fill in those gaps. And the final feature is the flexibility. So obviously you can uh, change between a study mode and you know the normal mode uh, uh, that ChatGPT has. But I definitely encourage you as a college student, if you need help with assignments or lecture notes, to first use a study mode. So how can we use this? I want to show you an example of this in the context of linear algebra, which is one of the most difficult topics in college. And let's say in this case, I want to find eigenvalues and eigenvectors of a two by two matrix, where the first row we have one and two, and the second row we have five and four. And let's say we don't know how to do this and we want to use study mode. So you can see that here, I activated the study mode and you can see it here, it's called a study and learn. So when I ask for uh, you know uh, help to find these eigenvalues and eigenvectors of these metrics, this is really on point. So it's, what it's telling me is that, well, First, we need to find eigenvalues. And in order to find the eigenvalues, you need to solve this characteristic equation, which is this determinant of a minus lambda i. And we set this equal to zero, meaning that we want to find the roots of this uh, characteristic equation. And it tells me that here, well, first find this a minus lambda i. And what metrics do you get? So i get one minus lambda and four minus lambda on the main diagonal. Let's see if this is correct or not. Yes, perfect. So you can see that I correctly answered this by subtracting lambda from each diagonal entry. So since we have here one, two, five, four, now we have one minus lambda, four minus lambda, and then we don't touch these off diagonal terms. And of course, now we have to find the determinant, which is correct here. It's the, the product of these two terms on the main diagonal, and then we subtract the, the product of these two off diagonal terms. 
So, and now it asks us to simplify this and see what we get. So this is the, exactly that idea of uh, walking through this problem step by step and using a scaffolding, um, which is which is great. Um, and I can say that here, show me the results. So, I mean, obviously you can expand this term. Um, it's not really that difficult. And now you want to solve this, you know, sort of like, you know, equation. Um, and I ask us if we can factor these to find these eigenvalues. Uh, and again, I can ask how to do this. This is kind of like very simple, uh, but you can see that this can be written as lambda minus six times lambda plus one. And so one solution here is six and the other one is negative one. So now we found the eigenvalues of this met matrix and it asks us if we want to find the eigenvectors for each of these. Um, and, the, and this is really great, right? So, um, you know, now we can, for example, ask, um, can you give me another example to find eigenvalues? And let's see what this does. So now I have a different matrix. And now again, it tells me that to go through this step to subtract this lambda from the main diagonals and show the sort of like result to be able to find these eigenvalues. So I do believe that this is extremely helpful for especially like, you know, uh, college courses uh, that are, you know, usually difficult, uh, such as calculus, linear algebra, probability, statistics. And I will provide more examples on these, but I want you to, to make sure that you're aware of this study mode uh, uh, in ChatGPT. This just came out um, today, which is July 29, and this is going to be extremely helpful for college students. Thanks for watching.